Imagine coming back to your home after two weeks away and finding it ransacked. That's what a local musician is going through. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us with the story. And Jason, these thieves got away with a whole lot. They did, Shannon. They got away with 10 guitars from musician Nick Gibson's house and most of his amps and other equipment, too. And they didn't stop there. The worst part is right now there are no solid leads on who might have taken it all. On what looks to be a warm spring-like day at this home near Haywood Lane, there are signs of the cold, hard truth that awaited the person who lived here this week. This home belongs to local musician Nick Gibson. This door damage belongs to the thief or thieves, he says, broke in while he was on tour. Knocked it in and came through here. Looks like a bull in a china shop. Nick had been on the road for two weeks, touring with another group, leaving all his music equipment behind at his home before whoever broke in here found it. Nick says the thieves took no fewer than 10 guitars. I had several musical instruments uh, in here that are now gone. Most of his amps and other music equipment are now gone. The thieves even found spare keys to his van parked outside and took it, too. Coming in here is just, uh, uh, it's, it's numbing. It, it's, you know, you feel violated. Um, don't, you know, don't, definitely don't feel safe. Um, you know, just so many, so many emotions, it's really hard to even put into words. All told, the thieves got away with $75,000 worth of equipment, but that numeric value means little. To Nick. So some of that stuff can't be can't be replaced and that obviously the memories of of being on the road with all this stuff can't be uh, replaced. Now Nick hopes he can get back on his feet. It's devastating, you know. While keeping the music playing. Rebuild and make new memories, I guess. We've been talking with some of Nick's friends on social media today. It's clear he has a lot of support from them. He's got a gig coming up this week, and they're letting him borrow some equipment for that. His friends also set up a GoFundMe site for Nick. We have more information on that on newschannel5.com. Shannon.